Bob Zykowitz, your host. Today is Wednesday, July 26th. Where's the time going? And my good friend, Robin Legrand, is my guest today. Good morning, Robin. Good morning, Bob. I always enjoy having you on because you have such interesting trips lined up for all of us folks. So, without any further introduction, What's going on in Special Trips? Special Trips has been very, very busy lately. We have a lot going on. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start off August on the 1st. We're going to go to Blue Ocean Japanese Restaurant in Fairfax. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you know, that came from a resident. They say it's very, very good. A lot of these restaurant trips are actually um, ideas of the residents. Or they've been there, so they're recommending, you know. I did not rec oh, I did not remember that, that you do follow up on a resident suggestion and if it's viable you'll, you'll absolutely it. absolutely I that's where a lot that. that's where actually a lot of the trips come from because it's helpful to me in planning because I want to give you what you're interested in I want to uh -huh. give you what you want and where you know where you want to go so it's very helpful to me so that's I get a great, lot Robin. of that from the residents Keep it up. thank you thank you so that is on the first that's on Tuesday so I know the calendar will probably be in the cubbies tonight it hasn't been out yet because uh -huh. it was just a little delayed because of you know things going on so yeah. Uh, when you get it, people have seen the calendar on uh, maybe what is the Village Bridge or somewhere online. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so they've seen it, so they've started signing up. So mm -hmm. as soon as you get it, I wouldn't wait. I wouldn't hesitate in signing up for the trips you want to go on Good because advice. people are already signing up already because they've seen it. On a Wednesday, on the 2nd, we're going to go see Cabaret at the Kennedy Center. Now, I have plenty of seats on that, and if if you want to go, you need to sign up like right away because I had to release those seats. It's, this has been advertised for a couple of months. Well, that's the second of August. Yeah, they better sign up. Yeah, they better sign up. Yeah. You see, I had to release the seats because I didn't have enough people signed up to make that initial oh, payment. Really? So I had to release them. So if you want to go, I will have to rebook the seats. And at that point, unfortunately, we get whatever seats are left, whatever seats are available at that time. Your phone number. It's right it's here on the calendar. Okay. It's on the front of the calendar. Okay. So, um, but that's not how you sign up. You have to fill out the registration form to sign up. Now, you can call me if you have questions or if you need sure. to cancel a trip or whatever, then you can call me. But the only way to sign up is to fill out the registration form. Um, then on Thursday, on the 3rd, uh, the Islamic Center of Northern Virginia. Now, this is uh, Special Trips is working. We're partnering with Pastoral Ministries. Uh, to bring you this trip. Um, there will be a tour, and then um, Dr. Muhammad Farouk will talk to the group. Um, so that, you know, if you're interested in that, go ahead and sign up for that. People are already signing up for that, and like I said, we're partnering with, with Pastoral right. Ministry, so that I'm sure Lois will have. interesting. Exactly. I'm sure Lois will have, you know, her yeah. list of people sure. who are going to go, so, you know, I wouldn't wait to sign up for that if you're interested. Then on Friday, the 4th, is the Marine Band Evening Parade over at, um, in D.C. on, uh, what is it, 4th and I or whatever that is. And that's a beautiful sight to behold. I mean, just to watch that whole little pageant is just, it's, you know, a pretty fantastic thing to see. And they do have seating for us. They will have seating for us. So mm -hmm. if you're interested in going, you know, go ahead and sign up. Like I said, I need to know all this stuff. Kind of, you have a short turnaround time because yeah. the calendar is just coming out. and. I need to plan out. What time does the bus leave here? Um, at 6.45 for at, the evening. From Hunt, All the trips leave from Hunter's Crossing now. So, um, like I said, I need you to go ahead and sign up for this first week, like, sooner rather than later so I can sure. plan it out. On Monday, the 7th, we're going to have um, Colette Vacations come back in to do another presentation on the upcoming vacations that uh, we've planned with them. So if you're interested in any of the trips, and even if there are trips you're interested in that you don't see on the bulletin boards, this is a good time to come and talk to the sales manager about the destinations that you'd like to go sure. to, and he can pull that information, and you know we can make that available to you. So that would be a good thing to come to um, mm -hmm. on Monday the 7th, and it will be in the Village Square Theater mm -hmm. at 11 o'clock. On Tuesday the 8th, it's Pentagon City, and that's a monthly trip. It's the free trip, so I really don't need to go into a lot of detail about that. It always goes. Um, Wednesday the 9th is the Mariachi Los, Los Amigos Band, 
at Lee District Park, and that's part of the, you know, Fairfax County Entertainment Series. You know, they have, you know, the music in the parks and whatnot. So this is a part of that. So, you know, we'll go up. It's, you know, they're all free. Well, what happens if it rains? We won't go. Okay. If it rains, then we will, we will not make okay. that trip because it is outdoors at an amphitheater. So we'll cancel. On Thursday the 10th, we're going to see the Nationals take on the Marlins. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, those trips are always popular, the baseball games. Yeah. So, you know, there's not a lot I need to say about that either because those trips basically sell themselves. So um, I just wouldn't wait signing up for it because they do fill up. And then on Friday the 11th, we're going to go to Bro Vineyards in Percival. Beautiful property, oh, absolutely okay. stunning property. Um, so we'll do, you know, a wine tasting and then we'll have, you know, I get up early in the mornings and I make these picnic lunches. I bake fresh breads and really I don't, but I would like to, <laughs> but you know, I'll uh, take a picnic lunch with us to uh -huh. the vineyard and after, you know, the tasting, then we'll just, you know, sit out on the patio or wherever we can and, and you know, enjoy a nice picnic lunch and just, you know, have good conversation. So the trip includes the, obviously the bus, the tour, lunch, and the tasting. We're not. We, we won't tour the facility. Uh, we'll do the. Ta it includes the bus, the transportation, the tasting, and the picnic lunch. But you're allowed to buy some wine. There, as much you? wine as you like. Mm -hmm. as you can fit on the bus. You can bring all the wine back that you <laughs> like. I'm sure the vineyard would be really happy if you did. But um, you know, those are really, really fun mm -hmm. trips. We had one on Friday, and it was just, you know, we had a really, really good time. So um, I would encourage people to just come out and try it one time. You'll get hooked <laughs> if you do it you will get hooked so those are always good trips on Monday the 14th is Smithsonian Adventures that's monthly you know and it's yeah. it's the Smithsonian Museum so I really don't need to say a lot about that yeah. um, on Wednesday the 16th however we're gonna go this is a special trip to the National Museum of African American History and Culture so this will be our first trip down there since it opened up. I mean, I requested these tickets back in the winter, and so this was the first date that they could give me for my group to really? come in. Yeah, that's how busy it's been. Um, so we're gonna do, and people are signing up already. This one is going to go sell out so fast. So if you're interested, I would tell you, you would want to sign up for this immediately. As soon as you get that calendar, then you would need to sign up for that trip because it is gonna sell out. But the beauty about this is, is after this first initial trip, we're gonna add this stop, this museum, to the Smithsonian Adventures trip. So you can get off there and you could spend your three hours at, the, at this museum and then we'll pick you back up. Mm -hmm. So it'll just go into that, um, that loop well, that where we drop you convenient. off and pick you, very convenient. Um, only thing is, is with this one, you'll have to get your own tickets, you know, whether you go online and get them ahead of time or they do have same day where you stand in line and you get your tickets. So you'll have to get your own tickets at that point. On Thursday the 17th is the MGM Casino and that's monthly and you know, there's not a lot I need to say about that. On Friday the 18th, we're gonna do a River Shore Crab Cruise on the Potomac. Ooh. And we did that last year, it's amazing. I mean, the, the captain and his wife, they bring on these bushels of crabs and, and spiced shrimp and fried chicken and corn Ooh. on the cob and hush puppies. And they serve us on the boat as we're cruising down the Potomac. It, it was really, really nice. So um, that's going to be a lot of fun. On Saturday the 19th, it's the King and I at the Kennedy Center. I only have about four tickets left for that. That's been getting good reviews. Very good reviews. And if you're interested, like I said, I only have four tickets left because it's been advertised for a while. So it's been selling. It's been selling well. So if you're interested, then, you know, mm -hmm. don't hesitate. The following week, um, you'll see office closed. I am supposed to be out on vacation and some other things going on so the last two weeks the, the office sure. will be closed okay. uh, but on the 29th we will have a trip to Potomac Mills um, so if, um, you know just a shopping, shopping. trip yeah mm -hmm. a shopping trip but on the 30th Bob uh, we're gonna go back down to Riverside Center to see seven brides for seven brothers. That's my favorite. Yeah, it, you know what? Riverside. That has it has become so popular. The last time we took two busloads of people. Really? It's become so popular because they do. I mean, the productions are just really good. And that's on the 29th. That's on the 29th. The 30th. That's actually on the 30th of oh, July. It's on a Wednesday. 
30th. 30th. I mean August. I said July, Thanks. but the 30th of August, and it's the matinee. So if you're interested in that, um, sign up. I would say sign up sooner rather than later because I have to get account and you know make deposits and stuff like that. But I think that's going to be popular too. People are already signing up for that as well. Good. And that rounds out the, you know, the month of August. The first couple of weeks in September will probably be as light as the last two weeks in August because I'll still be out. So, but as that calendar. As usual, it sounds like you have a very exciting month of trips. Thank you, I try. Now, we do have some vacations posted on the bulletin board, so please check the bulletin boards. We have a trip to the Biltmore in Asheville, North Carolina. Is this overnight? This is like four days. Oh, four days? Yeah, so, and it's going to be, you know, they should be, have the Christmas decorations up and whatnot, so it should be really Ooh. stunning. Won't that be something? Right, so I need, if people are thinking about it or interested, I need them to sign up right away because I need to put deposits down, but I'm not gonna do that unless I'm close to my numbers and I have a, a, a good way to go before I get to the numbers. And then in January, we have the Southern Caribbean cruise. So we're up, that's moving well, that's selling out, so you know. Um, so hurry up and sign up. Absolutely, and also I want you to look, you know, just remind people to look in the special trips calendar under their special trip update because the cancellation policy is in there. Mm -hmm. So I just need people to be aware of the cancellation policy. They should be aware of that. Right, because if I need three days notice if it's a non-ticketed event. I need at least three days notice prior to the trip to cancel. And if it's a ticketed event, I need two weeks because I have to try to resell that ticket. Mm -hmm. Or you can, you know, find someone to take that ticket, but I just want them to be aware of the policy. That's good advice. Robin Legrand, as usual, you come out a winner. Well, thank you. And I, I want to thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. giving us all these wonderful trips to take. And I want to thank you. And now, <clears throat> we do have a roll in. May I have that, please? <laughs> 